Hey there, Evan Silliason here, founder of the Northwest School of Aromatic Medicine. And you know, I've been thinking a lot about how overrun we are with synthetics. Somehow we've gotten ourselves stuck in this downward spiral of surrounding ourselves more and more over the past uh, many decades with chemicals, you know, in our food, in our household and beauty products and healthcare and just about everything else. And, uh, you know, this is no newsflash or anything. We're all aware of it. And if you're into aromatics, you know that synthetic fragrance oils and man-made chemicals are everywhere and, you know, really hard to avoid sometimes. For some reason, some humans are really good at just destroying beautiful plant-based traditions and disgracing them by removing the heart and soul that's been put into them for ages and replacing their foundations with chemicals and synthetic materials. Take incense, for example, where now we have a majority of the store shelves just filled with chemical laden products and just a small handful of natural artisan incense in comparison. Now this is everywhere, you know, it's in every aspect of our culture these days, but I just wanted to mainly talk about the fragrance industry and the many aromatic arts we have today where artisans are, you know, they're doing what they can to hold on to tradition and continue to use, you know, natural practices, sustainable practices um, in the shadow of these corporations and companies out there who just really don't care about anything other than more profit. They don't care about your health um, and they sure don't care about plants or the environment. And I know this is always an intense topic to talk about, but it's real and it's happening. And I think it's always uh, an important conversation to have uh, because the power to change this and turn things around is within each of our hands as individuals. You know, obviously we can equip ourselves with uh, the proper knowledge to navigate away from unnatural products and vote with our dollar and always choose to buy, you know, 100% natural and sustainable and fair trade uh, herbal and aromatic products, uh, which you might already be doing so if you care about your health or your family's health. Um, and we have to if you want to see a change. And when you do, you're also supporting the small companies out there who really care and are doing their part to, you know, put goodness out into the world. But another part of it as a plant person, you know, whether you use herbs or tinctures or essential oils or incense, um, no matter if you practice at home or if you're a professional, if you work with plants in any way, it's really important to learn how to make your own uh, herbal creations and medicines in addition to supporting others who are doing good work. That's the number one way to know for sure what's in the products you use. The uh, only way to ensure you're always using 100% natural products and medicines. And when you do this, you're putting your healthcare in your own hands. You know, you can personalize your creations just the way you want them to be. Um, you can even use herbs grown in your garden. You can learn to wild harvest plants and resins out in nature and just add a, you know, a whole other level of connection and engagement with the plants you use, which unveils, you know, an incredible amount of new wisdom about plants and healing. And you can learn crucial skills working with plants and learning to process them down and make all sorts of preparations. And when you make things with your own two hands, you know, instead of always relying on other people to make them for you, you're really empowering yourself. Personally speaking, when I uh, made my first herbal first aid salve in my early 20s with herbs I grew myself and tree resins that I harvested in my own backyard, you know, I was beside myself. You know, I just felt so proud and I gave a jar to, you know, everyone in my family who used it and actually had real results with it, which just boosted my confidence and fed my desire to learn more and make better and better medicines. And I feel uh, personally, you know, that's what being an herbalist or aromatherapist or incense practitioner is all about. Understanding and knowing the different processes that go into creating medicines and herbal products. Uh, because when we rely on buying 100% of our products or pre-processed herbs that we make into our own medicines, um, in a way we're kind of taking a shortcut and we're really missing out on some important things. Um, you know, every healer and plant person that came before our time, before the internet 
and the conveniences that we have today where we, you know, we can just go to the store or we can shop online and get any plant product we want with the snap of a finger, um, they all had a much deeper connection to plants and nature um, collectively than many herbalists and aromatherapists do in our modern world because they all went out into the wild to be with the plants and harvest their medicines themselves and brought them back to make them into incense or you know distill them into essential oils with their own stills or they process them down into all kinds of preparations or beauty products or medicines and i feel like um, collectively today we, we really need to uh, get back to these roots we need to get to know our own plants we need to um, get to know our, our tools of the trade and the many processes of the herbalists and healers and incense crafters that came before us because there's just so much beauty and wonder and wisdom uh, in these ancient traditions. Now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with buying herbal products. Uh, you know, like I mentioned a minute ago, I think that's really important because you're voting with your dollar and you're choosing to support um, the small companies and the artisans over the corporations, which is incredibly important. And I know a lot of people don't always have the time to be engaged with their uh, plant path and with the plants themselves, which is totally understandable. Um, but I just wanted to share some insights to hopefully inspire you to work with your hands a little bit more. I think all of us could do that more. You know, get your hands dirty, learn some new processes behind the herbal and aromatic uh, arts that you love so much. Learn some more tradition, nourish your roots, and I promise you'll be blessed with a lot of wisdom and confidence and pride and joy when you do. You know, even if you just start small and you know, you just make maybe a little bit more time to plant a small uh, herb garden in the spring or learn how to make a new preparation like incense or go out and harvest some conifer resin or go out and meet and observe and harvest um, from a plant in the wild that maybe you've never met before but maybe you've been buying its essential oil or tincture for a while. You know, you can also always start uh, really small like this. Um, I know that with all the convenience that we have today, sometimes it's easy to get stuck in a pattern of simply, you know, solely buying online or from a store and not making the time to nourish the roots of your practice like I'm talking about. So I'm just trying to inspire you to see things in a new light if this is you. Um, or hopefully encourage you to, to go even further if you already work with plants in the raw or wild harvest um, or even make all of your own preparations already because there's always something new to learn on the plant path. Whether you love aromatics or herbal medicines or essential oils, there's always another skill to learn, a new preparation to master, a new type of incense to learn how to make. I know there's a lot, a lot there, a lot out there for me on my path too to discover. Um, you know, there's always new plants to learn how to grow or harvest and it's all incredibly beautiful and I want more beauty for you on your path and I'm always trying to find ways to support you in finding that. So with that being said, I want you to keep your eye out in your inbox after the weekend because I have a really special surprise gift for you, something I've been working on for a few months now. So if you're ready to learn more about aromatic traditions and working with aromatic plants and incense in new ways like I'm talking about. You're gonna love what I have in store for you. So join me next week and I'm gonna show you a whole new aspect of the aromatic medicine world. So stay tuned early next week. Thanks for listening. Uh, just some simple thoughts I was having today. I hope uh, you take all of it in in a good way. You know, I'm not trying to get after anyone. I just wanted to paint a picture that might help you see things a little bit differently and hopefully inspire uh, some growth and positive change. So that's all I have to share for you now. Take care and I'll see you next week.